I'm Phil Bolton with the Global Atlanta News Service. We're at the resident of the uh, French Consul General with the French Ambassador to the United States, Pierre Vimont. Welcome to Atlanta, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you very much for inviting me. Mm. This is your second trip. Absolutely. And mm. we welcome you back. It's a great pleasure to be in your great city again. Mm. I understand you're here uh, because there's a meeting of all the Consuls General from the United States. That's we try each year to have a meeting in one of the nine cities in which we have uh, consulates here in the United States. And this year it was um, Atlanta that was uh, picked up. So we are all together here in Atlanta. Huh? Mm -hmm. And you'll be here for a couple of days? We are here for two days and a half, let's say. Mm -hmm. And you will be mm -hmm. talking about consular issues? That's right. As mm -hmm. well as I mm -hmm. economic and political issues, I That's believe. right. We have our internal domestic affairs so that we have to look at. And then also we discuss a little bit about the political issues. And among other things, about the fact that we're going to have the uh, the presidency of the European Union, uh, as you may know, in the second semester. So for us, the embassy on one side, the uh, general consuls on the other side, we have to organize ourselves in order to uh, get the message through as we go along during this whole presidency. Mm -hmm. It'll be a uh, critical time for both sides of the Atlantic. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Particularly because of mm -hmm. um, the rising fuel prices that you may have heard about from mm -hmm. some of the consuls. Mm -hmm. uh, give us an, a sense of how these um, rising prices are affecting Europe. Mm -hmm. We're very much aware of how they're affecting everybody here. But <laughs> yes, but uh, I think your, um, the American population must know that it is affecting all of us uh, all over the world. So, of course, in France and in Europe, we are also feeling the, uh, the impact of the uh, oil price. And I think that we are all have to be aware that this uh, increase in oil prices w seems to be uh, there for, for a long time and it will continue. So we will have to adapt ourselves and we will have to think a little bit more about what kind of policy we have to uh, put into motion in order to uh, find the right solutions to that. Uh, Don't you mm -hmm. think the Europeans are somewhat better prepared for these rising prices? Well, it's, it depends on each of the European countries. If you take France, for instance, we decided to have uh, nuclear energy for many years, and we have managed to do that. And you know that uh, nearly 80% of our electricity is, uh, is now from a nuclear origin. But we still have uh, a lot of our energy resources that come from oil and from gas, which means that we have to import them because uh, we don't have those resources in our own country. So uh, we feel very much the brunt of all these oil uh, prices and gas prices increases. Uh, so we have to deal with that like, uh, like all the other partners. What we have to do with other Europeans is um, to look at the way we can have a, a, a stronger security in terms of our energy resources, whether that be uh, oil or whether that be gas. And also we have to go and look for some new resources, you know, renewable uh, resources, uh, uh, whether it be wind, whether it be the sun, whether it be other, um, other uh, renewable resources. And you know that we want to increase that, not only for energy purposes, purposes, but also for reasons linked to the climate change and to the need to protect uh, um, our climate more and more. So this is uh, a sort of a common European policy that we're starting to implement and we'll have to do much more in that field. In the short term, do you uh, see any changes in tax policies, for instance, that might affect the, the price of fuel? Well, what President Sarkozy has said uh, as lately as this morning when he was on a radio uh, program, he said that after a certain level of the, uh, of the rise in oil prices, maybe we would have to look at the way some of that uh, taxation, because our oil is very much taxed by, uh, uh, by, uh, by the government, uh, much more than in your country. Part of that, of that oil tax maybe could help to alleviate the burden from some of the uh, poor members of our community, of the French community. So we will have to look if something like that can be done. Mm. Do you think uh, an issue mm. of that sort might be a um, European-wide uh, discussion 
in the near yes, future? Certainly, certainly. Well, we have first of all to look at, uh, you know, we're going through the process of, of uh, setting up a whole energy single market. That means that we have still to look at the way we are implementing the network for gas uh, mm. transport and um, and gas uh, and oil delivery. So this uh, European network is nearly finished, but we still have a, a bit of work to do on that. Then secondly, we have to look all together at the kind of re answer we're going to give to this uh, situation where on the market uh, the oil price and the gas prices are increasing more and more. And of course, much of this will be left to each ne uh, country on its own, but we still can exchange ideas and uh, have uh, some sort of peer review whereby we look at what everyone is doing and try to see if we can do some things in common. So this is certainly some of the uh, views and ideas that we will exchange as we go on. Mm. Do you think that there will be um, a greater uh, sense of working together in relation to Russia because of the um, because of the crisis. Yes, and because of the fact that uh, uh, some of the gas that we import comes from Russia and we've had in the past some difficulties with them in, in the uh, transport and deliveries of the uh, Russian gas. So we are at the moment going through discussions with the Russians and you know we have decided very recently in the last few days uh, we have decided the 27 member states of the European Union on a new mandate for a new uh, partnership agreement with Russia and uh, there are going to be m major issues in that new agreement and we will have to discuss that and that will be part of the uh, work that the French presidency will go through. We will have to go through many issues, the question of visas, uh, the question of uh, political dialogue etc. And one of the issues will be energy because we have to get an agreement with the Russians on getting more security in the, uh, in the way uh, we get our gas from Russia. So that will certainly be one of the issues. I understand one of the goals of uh, your presidency will also be to um, develop relations throughout the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. Do you think energy will play a role in, in those relationships? It, it, it will, because for some of the European countries, uh, those Mediterranean countries are suppliers, gas suppliers or oil suppliers. Uh, mostly gas, for instance, Algeria, for mm -hmm. instance, is a major supply for France and some other countries. But it will not only deal with energy, it will deal also with other ideas about how we can improve the protection on environment, how we could protect in a better way uh, the sea itself, the Mediterranean Sea, which is at the moment going through some very difficult times and its uh, purity being uh, jeopardized by uh, by um, some of the uh, uh, some of the uh, habits taken over by the uh, people who who get their ships all across the Mediterranean, we'll have to look also at the way we could set up a, a, a network of uh, of roads and uh, uh, all around the Mediterranean. So the whole idea about this union for a, a new Mediterranean is to look at very concrete and practical uh, programs and to try after that to work in the best way to make that as efficient as possible, whether it be environment, whether it be energy, whether it be transport, uh, uh, whether it be also a stronger cooperation in the field of immigration and, uh, and police and control and uh, a common fight against terrorism. So you know those are major issues.